somebody who is a relevant engineer trying to build a 30 40 year career cannot do that without a deep expertise in computational engineering and artificial intelligence and data science This program is a result of a sufficiently long and deliberative process where we studied the evolving landscape of engineering globally and in India particularly. You know, we have these traditional silos of engineering, but we also saw a common thread that runs across multiple disciplines, which is the idea of computational engineering. Today, every discipline of engineering has a computational engineering layer to it. Data science, artificial intelligence, these are all essentially tools. And these tools can be used in conjunction with mechanics to solve real world technological challenges that are uh, available today. We didn't have an undergrad program for the last 65 years. We had a blank canvas and using that canvas, it gave us a lot of freedom to devise a program that is very relevant for today's technological world. So we said, let's take mechanics, blend it in equal measure with electrical engineering and AI and computational engineering and create a program that would position this graduate for the 21st century careers in a broad range of while there are other programs in other IITs that are called computational engineering or you know variants of computational engineering, I think the key distinguishing part is where we want to see computational tools applied to real world problems. Every aircraft engine that is on a flying aircraft has a digital twin sitting on their engine manufacturer's computers. The computational model is more or less a replica of the real engine in flight. So I can monitor, for example, the health of the engine. I can monitor efficiency. You first need to know how an aircraft engine works. You need to know the computational tools that you can use to bring that world into the computational world and then operate here. So this idea of a digital twin developer that deeply understands digital twins is one of the stated objectives of this program. The curriculum entails roughly in one third, one third, one third measure, mechanics, electrical engineering, and computational engineering and data science. Core courses that students will have to go through are basics of electrical engineering, digital signal processing, signals and systems. In uh, mechanics, they will be doing uh, strength of materials, engineering mechanics, thermodynamics, and then they will, pick, uh, they will have to pick up solid mechanics, fluid mechanics. They will be doing Python programming, data structures. Then uh, they will be doing computational once you are done with the core courses, they can uh, opt to specialize in six particular uh, directions. One of them is energetics and materials, dynamics and controls. Then we'll have the computational aspects of mechanics, digital twins, which is a very important thing in today's world, and uh, mechanics aspects in biological systems. And finally, development of computational methods per se. I don't think there exists any uh, curriculum in the country right now which uh, enables the students to go into these directions. And then on top of these foundational layers, we build the application layer. The application layer has some core components like the digital twin part that we described and elective components. For example, you could choose to apply this to the world of biomedical engineering and healthcare technologies. You could choose to apply this to gas turbine or aircraft engineering. You could choose to go in the direction of modeling complex networks and complex systems. So we have allowed the student all of the flexibility required to benefit from this foundational layer and grow into any sub-discipline and become an expert in that sub-discipline. First of all, the, our students will, we expect them to have a systems level of thinking. So basically it's not that I'm going to look only in mechanical aspect or the electrical aspect, but it's an overall aspect. So they will be uniquely positioned to take up leadership roles in projects, in very important projects that encompass multiple disciplines, talking with different domain experts. Somebody who is a relevant engineer trying to build a 30, 40 year career cannot do that without a deep expertise in computational engineering and artificial intelligence and data science.